And I now would like to call upon Dr. Pekka Sanervo, who is the Vice President of CIFAR, to have the last words, please. Uh, thank you, Don. Well, I think the last word has really been given by the panelists. The whole purpose of the workshop, the whole purpose of the uh, research that these people are doing, the research that the people who assembled for the autism workshop last couple of days uh, has been to reduce the burden of disease, uh, a disease which has, affects uh, many families, uh, not just in the city or province, but across the world. The, um, and whether that, that disease burden is reduced by a cure or whether it's reduced by being able to find the, the appropriate interventions that will enable those people to have high quality of life, to be as fu uh, fully functioning individuals. That's the real goal. Uh, I, uh, I'd like to thank Steve, Marla, and Nokia the, uh, for showing us how far we've actually per uh, been able to make progress the, uh, toward that particular goal. I suspect you share with me the, uh, the challenge that we are still faced with, with really trying to understand autism the, um, what, that, what it's caused by and how we can actually best deal with it. At the same time, uh, I'm also extraordinarily impressed by the quality of the people and the commitment the, uh, of the individuals to actually find those solutions that will, in fact, cure our children. So it's up to me to thank a few people. Uh, first, I'd like to thank Steve for the presentation. That was outstanding. Thank you. Uh, I'd then like to thank Marla and Vokia the, uh, for not just being here as panelists and for helping main, uh, the, uh, bring a somewhat different perspective on the discussion, but also to organize the workshop that we've been having this last couple of days and we'll finish up uh, tomorrow. Thank you very much for the discussion. I'd like to thank a number, the, the organization that have actually made uh, not just this event this evening possible, but also the workshop, uh, of course, OBI, Don, uh, the organization that's early in its life, the, uh, but uh, I think that uh, the success of events like this and other activities that uh, the Ontario Brain Institute supports the, uh, the extraordinarily important. And uh, thank you and your staff for uh, the, uh, making all this work. I'd like to thank uh, the Autism Speaks, Jill Farber, for supporting this event the, um, and the, uh, being a support for the researchers the, uh, that are, in fact, pursuing the uh, solutions, the, uh, trying to relieve the burden of autism. The, uh, I'd like to also thank a number of staff who have made this sort of event possible. Uh, as many of you know, these things just don't happen. The, uh, there's a huge amount of coordination. Um, I can tell you that uh, some of my staff were uh, we're the, uh, having uh, the, uh, very interesting months just coordinating, getting people from several different continents here, the, uh, all on the same couple of days, uh, and making sure that uh, everything worked. Um, there are a few people that I think are personally or that, that, that should be recognized, Sharon Haney, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, Jordan Anflick, uh, Michelle Matern, uh, Kirk Nyland, Laura Matthews, these are the people who actually were at the front and center making this evening happen uh, and also helped make the uh, workshop happen in the last couple of days. The, I now like to I'll finally thank all of you uh, for attending this evening. The, uh, it's my pleasure now to invite you uh, to join us in refreshments. There are cookies, Don, don't worry, the, the, uh, uh, the, uh, in the foyer, uh, and that will be the opportunity to converge on the speaker and uh, ask those questions that you haven't had answers to this evening. The, thank you again for coming out and participating with us this evening, and have a good evening.